So this will be the continuation of our lecture, the numbers in nature, in terms of Fibonacci sequence. All we know that Leonardo Pisano Bogoglio, he lived between 1170 and 1250 in Italy. His nickname is Fibonacci, roughly means son of Bonacci. He helped spread the Hindu Arabic numerals through Europe in place of Roman numerals. He developed the famous Fibonacci sequence, it which means in 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 35. And 55. After learning this Fibonacci sequence, you will appreciate the mathematics and then you will love it. Okay, so next slide. So all we know that this is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, which 0 represents the A sub O, 1, A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, so and so on, and so forth so starting with 0 and 1 each term is the sum of the two previous terms which is a was 0 or a 3 is equal to a plus 1 if we say 1 plus 1 is equal to and further we are going to discuss that okay next slide so according to Fibonacci sequence is probably the most famous number sequence it is named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Pisano of Pisa known as Fibonacci his book is Liver Abaci which introduced the sequence of to Western European mathematics although the sequence has been described earlier in Indian mathematics kasi yung discussion niya ng Fibonacci medyo nakuha niya to sa sunflower seed pattern. So, ayan, yung sunflowers have 21 and 34 spirals. So, have 25, 89, 89, and 144, depending on the species. So, pero, however, this pattern is not true for all sunflowers using 657 sunflowers, according to Swinton. Found out that the one in five flowers did not conform to the Fibonacci sequence. So, may gonna contest, ano? So these are the example of the Fibonacci in nature in flowers. So we have the mariposa or lily, guamela, kalachuchi, marigold, even the banana. And so ayan, nung hinati rin yung apple, nakita rin natin yan. So these are the sequence of Fibonacci. So 0, 1, or 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 3 plus 5 and 8. Oh, naiintindihan nyo na ba kung paano nangyari? I hope na nakuha nyo. Kasi di ba, remember, you're going to add this one. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. <laughs> and 3 plus 5 is 8. So, ayan. O, i-squared naman natin siya. 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2. And so on and so on. So, ni i squared lang natin siya. So, nakuha natin yan. So, to check for that. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 4 is 5. 9, 9, 4 plus 9 is 13. And then, 9 plus 25 is 20. 34. So, nakita nyo lahat itong 2, 5, 13 ay nanggaling sa sequence natin. Di ba? Nandiyan lang din siya. So, so, ganun lang din yung mangyayari dyan. Yan yung Fibonacci sequence. Paano mo 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6. 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 15. 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 25 is 40. 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 25 plus 64 is 104. Sir, hindi po kasi it, wala naman sa Fibonacci ito. Yeah. But, look. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 8 is 40. And 8 times 13 is 104. So, nakita natin dito, di ba? Itong 3, 5, 8, 13 are Fibonacci sequence. Even the 2, 3, 5, 8. 2, 3, 5, 8. 3, 5, 8, 13. So, nang galing lahat yan. O, try it. Let's try to square this one. 0 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 8 squared plus 13 squared is equal to 8 by 13, which is 104. They are the same, di ba? 
Parehas na parehas. So, nang galing yan. Yan lang ang tatandaan nyo lagi. Yan, sequence na yan. Do not forget that. Okay. So, this will be the Fibonacci squares. Paano siya nangyari? Ganito yan. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Diba? 1 plus 2 is 3. And then, 2 plus 3 is 5. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. Diba? So, pag chinect natin itong square na to, this is 8 by 8, this is 5 by 5, 3 by 3, 2 by 2, and 1 by 1. So, pag chinect natin yun, what is the area of the rectangle, diba? alam natin na taas is, or yung height is 8. Pag chinect natin yung length niya is 5 plus 8, that is 13. So, we have, ayan, 8 by 13, which is 104. So, yun yung area na ating square. Diba? O, oh, ito pang ginawa ni Fibonacci, invert rate of rabbits. So, pinakita dyan na Fibonacci created a problem that concerned the birth of rate of rabbits. So, at the beginning of a month, you are given a pair of new rabbits. So, after a month, the rabbit have produced no offspring. However, every month thereafter, so the pair of rabbits produce another pair of rabbits. So, the offspring produce in exactly the same manner. O in none of the rabbit dies, how many pairs of rabbits will there be at the start of succeed, succeeding months? So, diba? So, Fibonacci then discovered that the number of pairs, pairs of rabbits for any month after the first two months can be determined by adding the numbers of pairs of rabbits in each of the two previous months. Paano yan nangyari? So, ganito yan. Diba ito? For example, ito yung first pair. Tapos, nanganak after a month. Tapos ito, nanganak, nanganak uli yan. Tapos ito, nanganak, nanganak uli, nanganak uli yun. And so, and so far. So, pag na-check mo, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. So, yun yung, dyan niya nakita na yung the number of pairs of rabbits at the start of each month is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, so on and so forth. So, yun yung nangyari sa Fibonacci sequence. O, paano naman daw yung golden ratio? So, all, all we know that golden ratio exists when a line is divided into two parts and the ratio of the longer part A to the shorter part B is equal to the ratio of the sum of A plus B to B. So, paano ba yan? So, ito yung pi, yung pi natin, A over B or A B plus B over A plus B. So, we have the pi or golden ratio which is value 1.618034. So, ganyan, di ba? Parang 3 divided 2, 5 divided 3, 8 divided 3. So, ito yan, no? Pag chinect mo, any two successive numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, yan, turn, and so on. So, very close sila sa value ng golden ratio, di ba? Yung 5 over 3, 1.667, and then 8 by 3, 1.6, 13 by 8 is 1.6250. So, 21 by 13, so 1.6154. So, pag chinect natin yan, ito yung kanina diniscuss natin, di ba? So, pag 8 plus 5, that is 13, 8 plus 1, 31. So, pag chinect natin yung ikot ng Fibonacci, ayan, di ba? So, in spiral. So, sukat na sukat yan. So, these are the example of Fibonacci. Wait, for the preview. So, this is the formula of the golden ratio. Uh, quantity of 1 plus square root of 5 all over by 2. So, we have 1.618048034, I mean. So, that will be the value of the golden ratio. So, these are the example of Fibonacci sequence. So, ito yun, di ba? Spiral yan, no? Yung mata ng hurricane, di ba? Yan, nakita nyo. Even the leaf. Ayan, ito yung pinaka, di ba? Itura yan. So, pag chinect nyo, spiral din siya, di ba? O, even your ear. Yan. Itong susunod, sigurado alam nyo. Kaya lang, di nyo alam na nangyayari siya. Tcharan! O, oh, di ba? Yung ginagawa nung yung mga alaga. Fibonacci pala yan. O, oh, di ba? This, the golden ratio. Ayan. So, these are the spirals. Example, di ba? Sunflower. Even your cactus. Ayan, lahat yan. O, oh, even this shape of snails. Ayan, o, oh, di ba? So, these are the examples. So, nakita nyo lahat dyan. Spirals. So, many plants grow in spirals, di ba? Karamihan. Often, the number of spirals is 
a Fibonacci numbers and the spiral resembles the Fibonacci spi spiral. Yan. Yan. So what are the generalizations can we say about mathematics? Siyempre, many patterns and occurrences exist in your nature, in our world, and in our life. Mathematics helps make sense of these patterns and occurrences. And all we know that mathematics is a tool to quantify, organize, and control the world, predict phenomena, and make life easier easier for us. Ito ang pinakamalaga. Mathematics is not just solving for your X or looking for your X. It's also figuring out why. So, iwana mo na X mo at check mo kung bakit. Di ba? Alam ko nakaka-relate kay dyan. So, these are the generalization about mathematics. So, basta ang tatandaan nyo lang dito, eh, yung ating Fibonacci sequence ang importante. Di ba? So, these are the sequence. Ayan. Di ba? So, 0, 1. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 2. 2 plus 3. 3 plus 5. So, ito yon. Yan ang tatandaan nyo. I hope you learn a lot in the Fibonacci sequence. So, mapapansin nyo, marami kayong nasa paligid nyo na part pala ng sequence natin. So, enjoy your, enjoy our lecture and see you another lecture. Bye-bye!